All right, everyone. So next we've got our ever popular lightning rounds. We'll be having a series of short presentations uh, that were submitted by people in the community. First, we'll have John Treppel from Marine Hydroelectric Company. Please welcome him. Wow. It, it is really a privilege for me to be able to address such a, uh, a wonderful group of, of smart people. It's, uh, it's really a remarkable privilege for me, and I thank you for the opportunity. The clicker. That's it. I'm John Treppel. I am the uh, principal and uh, inventor for Marine Hydroelectric Company. I began this adventure 30 years ago. Let's see, which one is it? Oh, the right button. The right button, okay. I'm gonna talk about three things. I'm gonna talk about the technology. I'm gonna talk about how I think there might be a fit and a, and a uh, potential uh, usefulness to seasteading. And I'm gonna talk about the team that I have that may be useful. We've already covered most of this. Oh, there's a lot of energy. I want to talk about a little bit of a controversy over how much energy. Early on in my research, there was a, a couple of doctors who said there's this much. And I built a, a, a machine and tested it and broke it and tested it and broke it. And I said, no, there's this much energy. And I did my own math. Uh, in doing that math, I uh, found correlation with the Army Corps of Engineers, and I proved that there was you know, this much energy in ocean waves. And what I see from the presentation here is that the scientific community now recognizes that there is this much energy in ocean waves. It's a lot. We built a 50 kilowatt meg. We tested it. We converted 29% of the energy in the wave to electricity. I don't think anybody that's built a renewable energy system for marine kinetic had comes even close. In 1983, I built that three watt little bicycle generator. I tested it at Scripps. I told you I broke it, I broke it two times. And that's when I knew there was a lot more energy than what the, the, the people were saying. Um, the fourth, the, I mean, the third time I went down, it worked. It worked well. Now, three watts, you know, it's a little bicycle generator. It's a little tiny light bulb with a little tiny generator, and it's in the wave tank to make electricity, and it was really cool. I was young. I really, I thought, well, let's build a bigger one. We filed our intellectual property. We went after our patents. We... Uh, got a bunch more, we were, we were doing all the right business stuff to just protect this great invention, right? And I scaled up to 50 kilowatts. I went all out, you know, this is what I could afford. I had this much money for, for the amount of money I had, I could build a 50 kilowatt generator. And that's about good for about 130 homes in Southern California. We leased an oil platform from Texaco, put it on the boats, helicoptered all the parts out, and ran our tests. We hired Price Waterhouse Engineering Group to independently verify all the engineering and all the, you know, whether it worked or not so that nobody could come back and the investors would have this, you know, independent verification. Seasteading. How does this apply to seasteading? I'm really amazed at what you guys are doing. I am. Uh, it, it's phenomenal. I, I, it's like watching a rocket take off. It's a contrail. You can see the progress. It's, it's wonderful. This is my artist concept of what marine hydroelectric generators will look like at the one megawatt stage. You have a big platform that's stable, not going to go anywhere. You've got a 
drive vessel underneath that buoys up and down. And I'm going to tell you how it works because this is simple. This is not brain surgery. This is not rocket science. It's easy. That vessel weighs several hundred tons. When it's loaded with, with water, it's just buoyant enough to stay on top of the water. The wave comes up six, eight feet, lifts it up. The wave goes away. Those cables wrap up on a drum, just a big rationing drum. Cable wraps up. Wave goes away, and now I've got the hundreds of tons just hanging in the air. And as it pulls on that drum, it starts moving the other transmission and the flywheel. Pretty soon, you've got everything rotating at a nice high speed, making electricity. It's simple. It's reciprocating mechanical absorption of electricity. That was my third version that I tested. It was 50 kilowatt. Earlier in the conference, one of the fellows mentioned that point absorbers have a sweet spot. He's absolutely right. All my engineering for years said, I have to do a very detailed wave study. I have to know what the waves are going to be for that particular site year to year, month to month. And then I'll find the sweet spot and I'll design for that sweet spot. Well, about seven years ago, I came up with a new concept, a fourth generation. I found I've got the whole range of period change now is works just fine. That's going to be my fourth generation deployment. Hopefully we're looking at Catalina. We're going to offer water. With desalinization delivered to the seasteads, you've got power, you've got water. A standalone 150 provides that's a lot of water. When I did the Catalina project, you know, started doing the engineering, I found out that two-thirds or three-fourths of their energy use on the island of Catalina is just to make water. I imagine the profile for seasteading is going to be kind of like the same. You're going to need a lot of water to do what you want to do. And if you don't want to burn energy for it, you can use marine hydroelectric generators. The expected life is 50 years. That's in steel. We added enough steel to the design so that it can get scraped and debarnacled and painted and maintained for 50 years. There's major components that got to be replaced every year or 18 months, but the life of the equipment is 50 years. This is not intended to be, uh, you know, a little, you know, offset. This is intended to be a prime mover. But to be a prime mover, you have to have a storage medium so you can store the excess energy. That's an element of technology that for sea studying has to be, you know, uh, sorted out. On Catalina, I've got a thousand foot ahead. We marry it with pumped hydro facility. In Tahiti on the island of Rayatea, we've got 1,300 feet ahead. And that's what I can offer seasteading. Here's my team. I'm getting the, the heads up. Um, I'm the founder. Uh, uh, MCA Engineers is uh, handled, Dr. Dr. Chung is handling platform and drive vessel. Energistics is our domestic engineering. Robert Bynum William Frost Associates is our in international engineering. Our legal team, intellectual property, corporate, and national law and regulatory compliance. These are all the partners that we've developed relationships with, and thank you for letting me show you.